Nephew, called nephew, man. Because I listen. That's where it came. Bro. I do feel like it. right before you oh, said that, you started talking to me again. I feel like a certain, I don't, I don't know the feeling, I'm sorry to describe it. But, true secret, law keeper, man. That's it. But I, it's, I, it's kind of like a feeling like the most high. Like, but he knew, you know, that we trying. Yeah. He know it. Man, because. It, I'm telling you, this ain't the first time things didn't happen when we was in that position where we didn't have nothing and couldn't eat that day and things just popped up out of nowhere. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? This ain't the first time, nephew. This happened many a times, man. Many, and it be strangers. And I believe people only there for there if, if you could be there for a lifetime but some just there for a second or a minute or two man just to serve the most just to serve the most high purpose he leads people he put feelings in people vibrations in people to do things for his people he turned your enemies who <laughs> your enemies he turned your enemies who your friends man he would turn your enemies your friends man people that don't like you and start loving you man but also he also turned your enemies against he'll make your, your enemies, enemies your footstool your footstool man yeah. there you go thank you baby um that was kind of cool though right on time man we didn't no gas nothing yeah i know like literally we was about to be chilling we just in chilling in the parking lot all day <laughs> you was there no vibe we woke up good feeling you know usually a nigga wake up we ain't got nothing i'm feeling some type of way you already know, nephew. I'm like, oh damn, man. I don't even feel like a man right now. That test is your master you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I said, don't put. I don't want to put the worries on y'all. Y'all still new. And Let that's word. why I tell you that we are okay. We don't you. have to eat every day. I mean, it would be nice if we ate every day. I know some was like, nah, but you do know how to do without, because that's what we teach you, right? So. Then, you know, then how the most high mood is from Kansas, man. I was really going to hurt that nigga, man. Yeah. I was really going to hurt this man, but I still had to think like, damn, I got a family. Then what's going to happen? Is I'm going to feed on to this wickedness? Because this is the same thing the brother pulled up to us and explain what he say. Did you do you remember what he said? My brother. Brother Mellows. Did you remember what Brother Mellows said? No. He said when you feed on to what? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Oh watch out y'all. Say it again. The demons can jump into you. Their vibration. There you right. go. You're sharing their vibration. That's what you're doing now. You're being evil and wicked with it. What makes you different? And he explained that's why Christ said that to Judas, right? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. He didn't want Judas, he didn't want to do it to do I mean, what's his name? Was it Peter? I haven't read it, but I think y'all said Peter for last time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't got the materialistic things, even the materialistic money, man. That shit is it, man. That forced us into this shit, man. We gotta come up out this shit together, man. We think we can. I'm thinking because I'm I'm down here in Florida with my family. I'm exempt. Why we ain't exempt? Shit, this shit this shit can get go down at any fucking minute, man. It sure can. You know what I'm saying? Any fucking minute. Man. He out here sleeping. Yeah, we gotta, man. We really gotta t take a look at this shit a whole different way because we expect to. We, we expect. People to talk nice. That's why I like Dick Gregory. 
because he gonna call, he, he, he put his <laughs> yeah. feelings in it. The ones who put their feelings in it is the one who really love you. Right. A motherfucker ain't gonna come on there on TV and be fake, pit politically correct, and all this shit to please the white man. I'm not coming to please the white man. When I watch Dick Gregory, I know he coming to please the people. Right. My people. Because he don't care what he say and how he say it. Right. He gonna he say, you gonna come here and tell me. Man, that kills him. Like, nigga, what the fuck? You, you don't come here and tell me. You know what I'm saying? That these ball players can help us and free us? Fuck no, nah, it ain't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Ain't none, it ain't, it ain't never happen. You know what I'm saying? And, and people don't understand. There's no understanding. There's no understanding at all, man. Like, we gotta really get out here together and put our minds and our vibrations together. He didn't put the spirit of fear in us. He didn't put the spirit of goddamn um, bullshit in us, procrastinating, none of that. These people turned us into this shit, man. They built us to be slackers, man. Bullshitters, man. They worked our grandparents so goddamn hard nowadays, niggas just don't want to work. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck this, nigga. I feel like we built this motherfucker, so why I'm going to keep building? And don't get to enjoy what we built, man. Don't enjoy shit, man. They don't enjoy nothing because I ain't enjoying shit. Mm -hmm. Even when you can get a lot of money right now, man, what the fuck you gonna do? You gonna party the shit up? Waste your time all goddamn day? You record me? Yeah, she is. Seriously? You ain't doing it. A lot of people been calling us. Telling us similar stories. Mm -hmm. And it's sad. Because when you get people you already told, it's confirmation at the same time. But now you're in a position like, damn, how can I help you? Right. Because you don't take me seriously now. Like the sister yesterday, I told her, you know, even though um, we hadn't talked in some months or whatever, I told her if our fuel injectors was good and, you know, we had gas or whatever, we would come and get you. Right. We would leave Florida to go to Missouri or whatever and go get her. You know, because regardless of what happened, so I mean, she's homeless. That's the thing. I use this motherfucker as a shuttle. You're, yeah, a state to state shuttle. You want some more? State to state shuttle. I'm mean, take some. I'm still eating. Watch it. You didn't get that one too because you didn't touch it. We can start our own goddamn company. Starting out with a garden. Right. You get what I'm saying? Grow your own shit. Mm -hmm. It's just something got a trigger to make a move. <coughs> but if you feeling it, that's because your spirit convicting you. Mm -hmm. This will keep me from doing bad, doing harm. Because my spirit would literally tell me, nigga, you know that ain't right. Right. I hear my spirit more now than my younger years because I ignored it. Because I still did stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? I ignore my spirit, my, my what they call it, the um. Your inner self. Yeah, but they call it the spirit man. Oh, the lady, yeah, the spirit man. My spirit man. Yeah. Another thing would keep me from doing harm to people is because I don't like hurting people. I can be in the middle of beating your ass and then shaking your hands, loving you, and apologizing for beating your ass. Because now I'm in my goddamn feelings. And then 
know, facial expressions and shit get to me. You know, I see people facial express. I see this real spirit sometimes. But yeah, when you keep on bullshitting for people for so long line and shit, motherfuckers start seeing like this nigga playing. Yeah. You know, they, they looking past that now. They ain't seeing you in the spirit. They just seeing you in the flesh. But it's really real, man. And people don't understand it's real because they either listen to their wife and their wife ain't got it or their husband ain't got it trying to keep them away from it. Mm -hmm. This is real life. Are their family and friends trying to keep them away? Mm -hmm. And they'll hold you back. Don't get it twisted. That's that weed. That's you know why you got to watch them few? weeds. There's weeds around you and some of them be your family, man. And they will pull you down. Let weeds, you see the weeds in that? That's, that's called weeds and bush and trees and shit. Can't no good grass like this. Look, that shit good. You ain't got not one weed in that shit. And flowers growing. Mm -hmm. They go grow. Cause them weeds, them roots, man, they suck up all that water. Where well, the good grass can't grow. They great. You know me? But we don't even look at nature no more. Mm -mm. People rather go look at a calendar. They so lazy. They go look at a calendar to get their Sabbaths. Where they do that at? Whenever in history, in the in the scriptures, it says go look at a Saturday calendar to follow your Saturday Sabbath, your seven day Sabbath. Never. This is why they had watchmen, man. Literally. To blow the trumpet. But yeah, and that trumpet. Everything is a is a system. It works together. And a lot of these people, I mean. Y'all really believe in the Saturday Sabbath because it's Saturday. We need to really look up the origin of every word. Look in the, the history of everything. Look up the history of where this calendar came from. Right. That should let you know it ain't right. Mm -hmm. Come on, the moon is on point. The sun is on point. Every month, on time. Right or wrong, y'all? Mm -hmm. Hey, remember um, when we first started trying to tell time by the moon uh -huh. and we, we, didn't would, understand it. we would be like dang we ain't seen the moon in a while right. but that's because it was at the end of the month and it was decreasing okay there you so go. it was coming up later and later right and then we'd be like oh there she is because it's the beginning of the month and when y'all was teaching me about it i didn't get it at first either. no because yeah, you you know we don't get things at first we see them mm -hmm. we like man but if he said, if you seek, you shall find. Right. I'm, I, I'm a truly believer. You seek, you will find this. But right now, it's just your spirit telling you no. I mean, I mean, your flesh telling you no, but your spirit wants you to keep listening. Right. Your spirit can also tell you with some bullshit too. That's why you gotta have that discernment.